good evening this is Craig again um, continuation of um, the USB adapter um, in this episode we'll be carrying on drawing the USB port here uh, as my finger can show you we'll do a bit more detail there and we'll also show for these prongs like we did for the, the larger one and then we'll look at try and do some of the designs on the back there's like a little groove and uh, the little lamp that sti um, sticks out and some arc decor so we'll just get straight back into it so this is the problem this is the, the save file from last time um, as you can see we just did the right uh, the tapered areas of the these prong this prong and it literally took us well took me five minutes well, at least we work it out and now we know what to do so we'll concentrate on the first one so we'll snap to the end point and find the end point and bring it out onto the blue line which is the x and then we'll pull the red axes out and type in 0 0.5 and then close it back to the first endpoint which gives us the surface and then we'll do this one first So we'll type in 0 0.5 again and then close it off to that first point and then do this one seems a bit long-winded but it, it seems the only way to do it so we select that point drag it out on the red line 0 0.5 and then close it off to the back to the end point again Zero point five. Enter. Close it back to the end point. And then now we'll use the array tool. Well, the push pull tool in this. There is an array tool as well. We we'll, might have a play with that later, but so we'll want to push it through to the end point. Do the same with this one. So now we did it once it, it's easier so we work it out we did the initial working out then what we want to do is delete that face do we not and then if we zoom in a little bit and then use the drawing tool again draw a line between there and there whoops You can use the pan tool, but I, I don't. I just zoom in and out. So there, and now we should be able to delete all the rest of the lines off it. You can with this you can select the area to delete but like I explained in, my, in a previous video it is you need to watch what you select because it will literally delete everything in the area so it's best to be just be careful and oh, let's talk that one this time that's fine, it'll come back as soon as we draw that line in. We'll take that line there, do it from there to there, there to there. See, it's come back the surface has. Um, 
delete again, delete, 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 delete. And we'll just get these lines. So that's that one done. So I'll zoom out and zoom back in, zoom out that side, pull it over there. Wherever you place the zoom, it will zoom into. So if you want it to move around the screen, you move your cursor to the top left, zoom and it will zoom over there. And obviously if you want to see the other side, you zoom out and zoom in that side. That's all you have to do and manipulate it. You can use the pan tool and it will pan it around. Well, it's just you've got to flick from one tool to the next. Now, I find it a lot, lot, lot faster and easier if you just manipulate it the best you can. Obviously, sometimes the display gets too bad, and then you you got to use the pan or, or one of the other tools. So I'm not going to make this browser version is doing quite well. It is saving now and again, and. Um, Normally, when I use um, any of the, uh, the CAD uh, programs on my laptop, my laptop warms up quite a lot. But this, this hardly any heat coming out of the exhaust. So, so for a browser, for a, a CAD program, quite enjoyable. Whoop. We end up inside. Not like buildings, I don't know, with the roofs, but never mind. Um, so that's the prongs done. As such, okay, there's, there's a little line, coloured line there. We could do that for later, like draw a little line across all the way around the, around the, the prong and then colour them differently so I'll colour that gold and colour that black and the, the, we could use a one of the materials that simulates plastic for the plastic look which is literally black anyway all of it is black apart from a few labels so now we'll do this USB port See, I still don't like that line, so I'm going to take it out and then redraw it back in. I don't think it's there anymore. It's near it, it is, it's still there. So, what I have to do is erase that face, but it's still there. Right, now looking at it, if you can see down it, down, you've got the USB port, which is the main square opening, rectangle opening, I should say, and then there's like a white sliver, I think that's where, the, where all the connectors are, and then it's metal round. So all we're going to do is just draw that metal um, sliver inside. And I think that that then that'll be it for that part. So what we would do is use a construction line. Um, uh, there's no. It's probably a, probably a mill. And then. It's probably point, point 0.1, we'll call it, 
1.5 tick and then there's a gap in there so draw And then it's probably a mill. Yeah. And see. What, how we can simulate it, how we can actually simulate the depth is we've got now five individual surfaces that we can actually select so we can actually push them in. If we push them in, possibly 10 mil, we'll call it. 7 million. Likewise with the top and the sides. And then what I'll do we select that and oh, no, we can delete there so so now that now if we select the if you remember there was five individual surfaces inside if we select it now, there's one, two, there's only two now. By deleting them lines, it's created one complete surface. So if we wanted to, we could pull it in and we'll push it out more. But we don't, we just, so we just escape out. See, there is a metal case all the way around if you wanted to be a a complete prediction which I think we will actually put in so if we draw we've got no specification of line I've got two million I don't think it's two mil I think it might just be a mil or even 0 0.5 actually and then grab that and then bring it across and stick it on that edge there and likewise if we draw that all the way around maybe oops Raise it. This picture has made a, a surface. Oh, I don't. I don't want to manip manipulate that surface. So what I'm going to do is, you see, just inside the black, there's a little metal lip. I don't know if you can see that. And then it's part of the USB port. So what I'm going to do is pull them out. See, so I'm going to use two five. I suppose we don't want and the last one the last one actually looks a bit thicker than that but I'll still go with it 0 0.25 okay.
And then what we'll do is zoom in a bit closer, take out them lines to make it one surface. Okay. Okay. So now, if by looking at that angle, it's that angle. So you can see the 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 inner lip of the USB port and the metal outer casing. Okay, we can't see what's in in there. Oh, uh, another thing I noticed. That, never mind. We could try. We could try. What I've done. The it's upside down. The USB is basically. You can zoom in really close. Now we've gone through the the mesh. Okay, what I want to do is put a two point arc hmm. possibly a three point arc maybe and we'll put one there there yeah let's try the two point arc might be better We've lost it. So this is the this is what you should do always when you do things like this. Do layers. And then we can switch the layers off. And work on the inside of the USB port without much hassle. But I'm terrible for not creating layers. We'll just we'll just leave it. It's okay. It just means it's upside down. So we'll just carry on. Um, so what we want to do is, I don't know if you can see, it's got an arc to it. Only small, but still an arc. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to do these ridges. We will try. Um, let's get... Use no, not that one, nor that one, or that one, no, not the one either, nor that one. We got any more field of view? Well, okay, then we'll just move it. So there is a design on the back. We can actually do the design. Um, I've got no dimensions, so we'll just have to work by eye. I don't mind that. So if we go from, say, Here, if we take it down to there, and we use that point, maybe we 
Oh, it's because we draw that line. Uh, draw the line down the centre. And then we will try and mirror right. We'll do that in the next episode. Um, sorry, we've run out of time again. Um, so the next episode we'll do the, we'll do the back of this, the design maybe. We'll experiment on what we can actually do. Maybe perhaps do one side, build uh, and build one one side up and then mirror it across to the other side. I'm not holding much hope, but well, I'll try and give it a go anyway. So until then, thanks very much, and I'll catch you later.